Right, Joyce, and she says they weren't hoarding, rather they were packing, getting ready to move from this house. You can still see the boards up from that fire on Saturday. Milwaukee firefighters say Gonzalez's death is the fifth fire-related death this year alone. No sé qué voy a hacer ahora que no estar él. Through a translator, Norma Garcia shares unimaginable pain, the loss of her only son, Rafael Gonzalez. He was my angel, my companion, and I feel alone. Garcia says she dedicated her life to her son who lived with special needs. On Saturday morning, she left to get breakfast for the two of them. On her way back, she got a call that her house was on fire. All of the firemen were working on my son, trying to burn him down. Then they all huddled and came to me and said, we're sorry for your loss. Ya no podemos traerlo para acá, señora. Ya se ido. And they said they couldn't do anything to bring Créale it back. Firefighters say they faced, quote, severe hoarding conditions trying to put the fire out and rescue Gonzalez. An investigator says firefighters found him on his bed covered by his teddy bears. Garcia says they weren't hoarding, just getting ready to move after 12 years in that house. To turn around and physically carry an individual, an adult individual out in these exact conditions is, it is uh, extremely extremely difficult to do. Acting Fire Chief Aaron Lipsky says the house had no working smoke detectors. Firefighters went door to door checking on other homes in the neighborhood. I just want everybody to know that he was very loved by me and by a lot of people, by my friends, by my family. He always had a smile on his face. His smile is what I'm going to miss the most. We have to feel for that family. Ben, do investigators know how the fire started? Not yet, Joyce, but investigators did note that they found a floor heater that was covered by a number of items in the kitchen, still to be determined there. Now, we mentioned Gonzalez's death is the fifth fire-related death in the city this year. Compare that to 2020, there were six fire deaths in the entire year, Joyce.